This is the second floor of the Sands Expo and Convention Center. It's a very busy floor because there are a couple of meetings here, one on human resources and the other one called IMEX America. IMEX is a gathering of folks who are in the meeting and event business and they are here to look at all the possibilities in the world of where they can hold their meetings or events. The IMAX show is different in that the show is owned by a company in Brighton, England. They do shows all over the world and the numbers here are kind of elusive. They may have, for example, 7,000 people here who work for these various booths and another 7,000 meeting planners who come to see what's going on around the world. The real numbers will be issued after the show, but uh, for now, it's a very interesting new kind of calculation for me. In the world of meetings, you need to know your initials. DMC means Destination Management Company, and these folks will manage your meeting wherever it is held. Las Vegas's main competition is Florida in the meetings business, and Florida is here, including sunny Orlando. But it's sunny in Las Vegas too, folks. Nashville is touting meetings and music together. They have a large presence here. This is the Arizona booth, and sneakily, right here on the side table, is a charging unit for whatever. It looks like every, every uh, cord you could want is here. This is J.S. out of Dallas, Texas, and the gentleman here is talking about their services. This company will come in and set up audiovisual services in a hotel, or they will go from meeting to meeting and provide the audiovisual services that are needed. And I was invited to come sit, but it looks like it's pretty crowded already. I found this interesting. VisitDetroit.com is right next to VisitOmaha.com. Pure Michigan is here and the video shows golfers and I have been a golfer in Michigan. I was asking the lady here about the booth and she said all these chips are Michigan products and there are Michigan beers here too, which I declined to take because I'm driving. This is lunchtime, so beer and chips are available at Pure Michigan. A competitor for Las Vegas's casino business, the Choctaw Casino and Resort, which is an hour outside of Dallas, Texas in Oklahoma. Beautiful New Mexico is here with lots of pretty pictures and a device. And I said, what is this? And a visitor looks through the viewfinder and sees photos from Albuquerque's very famous balloon festival. I was born in Columbus, Ohio, but have no memory of it. And I think I traveled through Oklahoma City and have no memory of that either. But both those cities are here and would be happy to host your meetings. I was somewhat surprised to see a bar here because my memory of Salt Lake, which goes back about 30 years, was that they had some restrictions on when liquor could be sold. But I guess that's no longer the case. I went to Salt Lake to see the holiday lights at Christmas because I was told that the lights in Chicago on Michigan Avenue were a large display, but Salt Lake had an even larger display. And they still do, the gentleman here told me. And for meeting planners, a time to come to Salt Lake is between Thanksgiving and Christmas not only to check out the hotels, which aren't as crowded as they would be otherwise, but to see the wonderful holiday lighting display. 
fun and good food is in New Orleans. And there are meeting spaces as well. I attended a meeting in New Orleans for s and Electric Company some years ago. Had a wonderful time. Memphis has an interesting exhibit here with lots of pictures, many of which rotate. I don't see any people, but great pictures. There's a cute slogan, make a splash in LA at Marina Del Rey. From this place in the hallway, I can see booths from Costa Rica, Honduras, Brazil, and way across the room, Mexico. And we have people representing Chile and Guatemala as well. I stopped at this booth and talked to this gentleman because I visited Cuba last year. Well, he is a person who would organize visits to Cuba. He does not represent the Cuban government and he loves the country as I did when I visited. I talked to a young woman here at Herti Gruten and was wondering what was going on, I see fish and your campground and see well this is a company that's 125 years old and they do a number of things they do take cruises along the coast of Norway and they go to the Arctic and Antarctic as well and they are here because a number of companies will um, for example charter a whole boat and take staff for a meeting that's part pleasure, part business, or they may reward people with, uh, you know, you get a trip to Norway <laughs> with Herty Gruten. You said 125 years old? My goodness, that's a lot of... Uh, 15 ships. 15 ships, and if you want to go along the coast of Norway, these are the folks you call. The world of Hyatt seems to also include some more drinks of one kind or another. Big booth, the world of Hyatt. Another big name in the hotel business, Marriott. I don't know what this is, but if you are promised a Ritz-Carlton yacht trip, if you're the number one salesman, I guess you would sell, sell, sell. Disney seems to be everywhere and they are here touting Disney meetings. Philadelphia even has a corner at this trade show. Want the Texas experience? Then here we go to Austin. Rhode Island, Baltimore, and Virginia are here as well. Germany is here and Germany is big in business and in the meetings world. So here they are. People who know me know that I have a thing about hugging strangers. I'm half English and half German, which makes me a pretty formal person. I decided to ask a couple people who work in a German booth how they feel about hugging. There was a pretty, about 30-year-old blonde gal who immediately says, said, I hate hugging. She hugs her mother, she hugs her boyfriend, and she hugs her cat, but that's about it. And I almost hugged her, hearing from her the same feelings that I have about perfect strangers. Of course, strangers can become good friends, and then the hug is okay. Want to wear a kilt at your meeting? Then go to Scotland don't like Las Vegas and want to go into the mountains and do some lake activity as well, then go to Reno Tahoe. And here is a scale model of where you will be going. This is cute in the Jamaica Resort. They have a map on the conference table so you can point and talk at the same time. Mexico is always full of color including their sign touting Mexico. Argentina says it is world friendly. Argentina has maps on its tables also. Canada had a good idea, its own Mountie. 
good looking guy, nice looking uniform, and people with cell phones. Of course, Las Vegas is here in a big booth, and I can see the wind over there. I'm going to look through it and see what it is they are offering. And someone thought quickly for their booth, Vegas Strong. <laughs> Beautiful picture of the entire strip area. This is Justin and Nikki, and they are in the cast of La Rev, which is a great show at the win, I guarantee. <laughs> This is impressive. The Venetian and the Palazzo have a kind of a roof here that is all pink and very impressive and big. This is the Chicago exhibit. I thought it was a little dreary and the woman here said, no, it's supposed to s simulate a Chicago pub. They had the Cubs game on yesterday and were serving beer. Well, okay, but Chicago is a toddling town. It's happier than black and gray, I think. Switzerland is here. Lots of wood in their exhibit. Behind them is the Brussels, Belgium exhibit. From across the Atlantic, London is here with a great big video and lots of places to discuss travel to England. The whole world is in Las Vegas this week. Here we have France, Monaco, and the green shades there say meet in Ireland. And look at everyone here. This is the backside of the London exhibit. So, how can I put it into something you might understand that will sit with you? Now, when you visit with one of our partners here from Ireland and you find a great hotel to go to, you'll wake up from your satin pillow as fresh as a daisy and you'll wander towards the elevator and as the elevator takes you down to the lobby and the doors open, the aromas that will greet you will only be intoxicated and they'll float you all the way into the dining hall and what will lay before you, Barbara, only the traditional Irish breakfast, full of Rashers and sausages, rashers and sausages, rashers and sausages, rashers and sausage, rashers and sausage and bacon and eggs. It's a very big breakfast. You won't have to eat again until the evening. It's very big. This is not a place, this is a thing. They will help you with your corporate image and perhaps put it on t-shirts, letterhead, etc. Let's brag a little. This is EDP, Exceptional Destination Partners. Well, here's a booth I didn't expect, the Moscow booth. And the young man here explained to me and gave me a brochure that he is here to promote the World Cup 2018 and to explain to people, not American people, because we didn't make it to the World Cup, I just heard on the radio, but anyway, to folks from South America, where they would stay uh, in the 11 different cities where the World Cup is being played. The transportation among the cities and the airports, etc., etc. So that's why Moscow is here. It's because of the World Cup. Thailand is here and the beautiful women are here as well. This is a beautiful exhibit. This is South Africa, inspiring new ways, and they have a number of beautiful pictures up high on their booth. Okay, for any meeting, you do need a name tag unless you've got a great memory, and the ladies here, by the way, they have an example of name tags, and of course, the woman is president of this company because this booth is staffed by women. But anyway, the real word is, that the plastic um, name tag holders, which are still available, are kind of passe, and instead a lot of folks are using 
this kind of name tag where the printing is on a kind of a piece of plastic and there's no holder other than the holes in the top. So name tags are changing along with everything else. The thought of having your meeting in Abu Dhabi, their convention bureau is here and will be glad to talk to you about it. Never been there, but the sign says it's more fun in the Philippines and we'll have to take their word for it. It's also colorful. <laughs> Malaysia, Asia's business events hub, has this display which includes animals and lots of greenery. Not exactly business, but quite lovely. Another prominent hotel group, the Wyndham Hotel Group is here. Guam has been in the news lately. Fortunately, that part of the news cycle has calmed down and they are here to promote the 41 different resort hotels on Guam and to attract meetings that would be, say, between 50 and 200 people. That is their sweet spot. And I just received a brochure on all the things to do in Guam. We don't have a meeting in Las Vegas where China isn't involved, and they are here too, and one of their Posters talks about Beijing. I can't read Chinese, so I don't know what the rest of it is about, but they'll be happy to host meetings in their country as well. My goodness, who isn't here? Omni Hotels and Resort and Hilton, and they're in the back of the room. Kind of uh, folks that are a little harder to get to, but people are finding them. And the seating probably comes in handy. Some booth designer had fun here. This is the Hard Rock. I assume the hotel, but could be restaurants, etc. Hong Kong calls itself the world's meeting place. And Macau says your business events destination. And Singapore is here also. So you like long plane trips, and they are waiting for you. The amazing thing about this trade show is how many different countries showed up to be part of the show. I'm actually astounded. And uh, though we don't know the final attendance figures, there seem to be lots of people here and lots of reasons to attend the IMAX Americas show. My feet are getting a bit tired, so I'm on my way home, and I will say farewell, and farewell to Holland as well.